Uh, good evening. It is July 27th. It is 7.03 p.m. I'd like to call the Public Safety and General Government Committee of the Common Council to order um, a present. We have myself, John McMurr. We have Council Member Josh Goldstein. We have Council Member Diana Revolus, and we have Council Member Ed Camacho. So we do have a quorum. Um, tonight we have um, a public hearing. So we'll go right into that. We have the sale of city-owned personal property. Um, we have the fire department vessel M slash V Robert Bedell, aluminum fire response vessel RAIV, hybrid patrol SAR, 38 feet with four foot wide dive platform, 300 gallons fuel capacity built by Almar North River in 2011. And we have the police department vessel TP Marine, RIB, police response vessel, 26 feet with four foot wide engine bracket powered by twin Evan Rood ETEC. 300 HB outboard motors built in 2006. So I would like to open public participation for this for the public hearing. Um, I am sorry if I misread any of that. I don't know anything about boats, full disclosure, um, except how to drive one, which is really all I need. Is anybody here to speak for public hearing? There is not. Okay. So, um, all right. I guess um, we will close public hearing. I feel like I should give it one minute just to see if anybody pops on. I feel like that's what we normally do, but there are no attendees. We'll give it one minute and then we'll move on. I, I highly doubt this is a hot topic issue for a lot of people, but we are required to have a public hearing. All right, nobody is attending, so I'm going to go ahead and close the public hearing. That was the easiest part of my job. Um, next, we have public participation, and because it is in the rules, I will ask if anybody is here for public participation, but seeing no attendees, I assume there are none. There is not. So we will go ahead and open and close public participation. Um, I need an acceptance of the minutes of June 22, 2023. Do I have a motion? Motion. Thank you, Council Member Revolus. Does anybody have any changes, additions, or corrections? Seeing and hearing none, I will call for the motion. All those in favor, please say aye. Raise your hand. Aye. Thank you so much. Any opposed? Nope. Any abstentions? Council Member Goldstein abstains. So that passes. Um, new business. We're moving on to this is going to be a quick meeting. I like it. Um, so because we we do have a quorum, but we are not going to be able to vote this evening because um, one of our members um, is not able to really um, communicate at this point with us. Um, we're going to go through the agenda items, have discussions as we normally would, but we will not have any action items on those. We will move them to the full council um, at the chair's discretion at the next public or the next council meeting. So under the fire department, we have number one, authorize the mayor, Harry W. Reeling, to execute any and all agreements, documents, instruments, and amendments thereto as may be necessary for the city of Norwalk to sell a fire department rescue boat on public surplus, a public auction website at a starting bid of $300,000. Um, so we have all of our fire chiefs here this evening. So is there anything um, in particular you would like to discuss on this item since we will not be taking a vote this evening? Or does anybody have any questions about this item? No. Assuming it sells, where do you plan on spending the money? So <clears throat> what we're gonna try to do or attempt to do is try to sell this boat and <clears throat> excuse me, use the remaining funds that are in the Port Security Grant and combine the two, uh, the two, uh, the two different amounts and then purchase a new um, 31 foot safe boat. But that's all depending on if we can sell this boat for that, at least that amount of money. How much do you need for the new boat? Well, depending on uh, what options you want to put in it, it could be anywhere from four to 600,000. So the port security grant is 240,000 and then whatever we can get for this boat. Otherwise, I don't know, we may try to fix it. 
Or do you try and sell it for parts at that point? Like, is that were even worth it? I don't know. Uh, I never sold a boat before. <laughs> Josh, are you in the market for a boat? Maybe you could. Absolutely not. My wife would kill Absolutely me if not. I did that. Absolutely kill me. Yeah. But my grandfather used to be a big boater. And I remember he had a, he had an issue with his boat and he ended up selling it for parts and then they're doing okay, but it's not, you wouldn't get nearly the kind of money if you were able to sell the whole boat. So right. good, best of luck. And I hope, uh, I hope you're successful. Thank you. Once this is approved by the full council at the next meeting, um, does the auction happen right away? How much time do you leave the auction open? I don't know. Uh, uh, the purchasing agent, Sharon, uh, okay. handles that end of it. Uh, it's supposed to go on a nationwide uh, website for this type Great. of uh, equipment, but again, I'm not familiar with it. No problem. That makes sense, though. All right. Do we have any other questions or comments about this action item? All right. We are not going to go for a vote, as I stated before, so we're going to move on to um, number two. Authorize the mayor, Harry W. Reeling, to execute a contract with Major Construction Inc. for the Meadow Street Fire Station, Station 5 bathroom renovation for a total not to exceed $84,560, account number noted. Um, I would like to open it up to the chiefs if you have anything you'd like to add about this. I know we've been talking about this for a while, so I don't think there's anything surprising here. Um, I see it's Mark happening. Has, <laughs> Mark has been working with the architects and the um, <clears throat> purchasing for the bid process, so he could fill you in on what where we are. Okay. Good evening, council members. Um, so we have been working with the architects. Basically, what we're doing is, like you said, there's no no surprises. We're we're renovating the uh, the the existing bathroom to make it uh, you know adequate privacy for all members of the department. Um, we were able to actually um, utilize the existing plumbing on it too to to and and pretty much just compartmentalize all the existing stalls and, and making one a handicap stall, which also can be used as a changing area slash bathroom. And then, and same thing with the bathroom now, there's, it's a changing area, I mean, shower, it's a changing area shower. And uh, we were able to, there's three sinks in there now. So we were able to get a double vanity and now we actually have a slop sink to help clean and sanitize the, pl the place uh, a lot better, right, right in there. And then we also upgraded the ventilation system. So each space now has its, is, is, is uh, independently ventilated. So That's it's, it's going to be, yeah. And, and the tiles are all in great condition. It's a really well-built building. So we're going to completely steam clean all the tiles and regrout the areas that were done. So it, it's, it's actually a good situation that we're in right now. So yeah, it seems it, less than I thought it would have been. So I'm happy mm -hmm. to see that. What is the timeline for this once it's approved by the full council? Do we know? So the uh, contractor majority uh, said about a month. Great. That's so in, in, great. You know, yeah, I know. It's great. We're, we're in good position too, because we have storage there because obviously the supply, you know, the supply chain is just so hard. Yeah, so we're, pretty much what's going to happen is once he goes to contract, he's just going to start ordering as much as he can. And we're going to, I told him to just store, we're going to be able to store stuff at the firehouse. We have right. room there. And then once everything's in, he can just go. Because yeah. we have, you know, 24 hours, people are there. So we're going to have temporary quarters while it's, you know, moving. We're going to use one bathroom and then the other bathroom. So That's what I was going to ask what the contingency plan is, because I have been through a bathroom renovation somewhat recently, and it's not great. <laughs> well, we're going to, we're actually going to utilize the officer. There, oddly enough, there's, it, there, there's another entrance to the officer's quarters, and okay. we're going to wall that off and utilize that for all the firefighters while that big bathroom's getting done. And then once that happens, we'll fix the officer's bathroom. And then so cool. there's never a disruption in bathroom. That's perfect. Do we have any other questions or comments from the committee members? Awesome. Okay. Um, we're not taking a vote, as I stated, so we're going to move on to number three. Authorize the fire department to issue change orders on contract for a total not to exceed $3,440 account number. I don't think we need to have any discussion over this unless anybody else disagrees with me since it's similar or part of the same project. Um, okay, we're moving on to um, the police department. I just want to thank the fire chiefs. Um, appreciate you being here. 
and answering any questions we have. So on to the police department. Um, number one, authorize the mayor, Harry W. Reeling, to execute any and all agreements, documents, instruments, and amendments thereto as may be necessary for the city of Norwalk to sell a police department RIB response vessel on public surplus, a public auction website at a starting bid of $10,000. Um, we have Chief Walsh here to discuss this item. I mean, my one question is, why is it $10,000 and the other one's $300,000 since I know nothing about boats? <laughs> um, it's just the value of it. Okay. Uh, this, this <laughs> it's not a very good one, it's, huh? It's like, it's like a tenth of the size. Got it. And, uh, I mean, it's a very good one. Please buy it. Yeah, this one, no, this one is, we're, we're selling uh, this one. This one's being uh, decommissioned. Um, it's a 2006 model, and we replaced it with the boat we bought two years ago on the Port Security Grant. So right now, it's currently waiting uh, the auction process to be bid, and we had it appraised, and that's where Sharon Connors came up with the number to start it at $10,000. Okay, great. Any questions or comments from the committee? I don't nope. think there's a ton you can probably do with $10,000. So I don't even know if we want to ask what you're going to do with that, except maybe put it towards something else, maybe. Um, sometimes sometimes that money goes back into the general fund. So a mm -hmm. lot of those times they don't get circled back into our operating budget. Oh, well, we'll see what we can do about that. 10000 almost pays for a generator and an air conditioner unit on the new boat. Just saying, Chief Walsh. Just saying. That's $12,000. <laughs> those, those guys are fine. <laughs> I waved to them from the beach the other day, so they, they looked fine. Um, okay, so no vote will be taken on this this evening. I'll move it on to the full council um, as chair. Number two is authorize the purchasing agent, Sharon Connors, to issue a purchase order to Colonial Municipal Automotive Group, CMG, for the purchase of 10 2023 Chevy Police Package utility vehicles under the collective purchasing of the Greater Boston Police Council for an amount not to exceed $453,000 account number noted. I just want to note for the record, we're going to change that period to a comma as we move it on to the full council. So nobody thinks it's $453. Um, do we have any discussion about this, Chief Walsh, or any details you'd like to share before we open it up to the committee? Yes, this is our uh, our fleet purchase for this year. Um, as which started in January, we're still refreshing our fleet, which was not replaced for a couple of years, probably two and a half years as as we discussed earlier in the year. So uh, we already got, it takes a long time. So we have five of the new ones in, we're still waiting for some more to be uh, built up at the fleet where they add all the lights and the sirens. And this is next year's purchase. So this, this purchase probably won't come to fruition uh, for six or seven months. Um, well, I appreciate you getting ahead of the game because I know um, availability has been a challenge. So thank you for that. Do any committee members have any questions or comments? By the way, just for fun, a police package utility vehicle is a standard, you know, like it's the standard Ford police car. Right? Am I incorrect in saying that? No. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. Is he, you know, you are, you are. The, the, the Chevy, the, the police package. I meant, is, I meant to say Chevy, my mistake. It, yeah, the Chevy police package is, is normal, than the, is different than the car, then you go into the dealership and buy. Mm -hmm. It has two batteries. One to support the accessories. It has a lower center of gravity uh, for better handling and uh, high speed uh, high speed uh, maneuvering. It has uh, better brakes, better handling, better suspension, um, all the things that are needed for uh, emergency driving. So this these aren't regular commercial cars that you buy off a dealership. Right. Have we always done a collective purchasing um, agreement with the Greater Boston Police Council? Uh, we did when we started to get the Chevys. Uh, okay, got it. Yeah, because we, just we, us we don't have price. one. Uh, they're actually the same mechanism like it's in the state. It's state purchasing pricing, but we, we're buying it from Massachusetts. Perfect. And the, the, these models are actually $11,000 cheaper per car than the Fords that we were buying. And That's great. I assume mechanically, that. Mechanically, they're much better. Thank you for clarifying. Um, any other questions or comments on this? Just to get a sense of the overall state of the vehicles. Like, for example, I remember like the department of purchase 10 hybrids last year. How many of those are already on the streets? I mean, like in terms of just- 
uh, Councilman Goldstein, that was the order that was canceled in January. Ford never, I don't know if you recall, we had the conversation uh, late January, early February, where Ford canceled yes. the order. They, they never got manufactured. So that's why okay. we had to move on to a different uh, manufacturer. We were notified late January that Ford had uh, manufacturing issues um, and they had taken 9,000 orders that they weren't able to fill. And we were part of that order and they could not ever tell us. So yes, approximately two years ago, the Common Council did uh, approve Ford hybrids, but it never came to fruition due to the manufacturer never followed through when we were notified in January. And that's when we we sort of, we went through this process once again to get away mm -hmm. from that, to change that language, to move on to a different police package. Okay. Um, any other questions or comments on that item? All right, um, we'll go ahead and move on to number three. Authorize the purchasing agent, Sharon Connors, to issue a purchase order to Colonial Municipal Automotive Group, CMG, for the purchase of one 2024 Chevrolet 3500 HD utility crew cab pickup truck under the collective purchasing of the Greater Boston Police Council for an amount not to exceed $53,000 account, as noted. Um, for all of these items, I just want to make sure all of the periods are changed to commas for the full council. Do we have any discussion around this, Chief Walsh, that you want to bring up before we turn it over to comments and questions? Yes, our current pickup truck is 14 years old and it's tired and it, it's not rated. What we try to do is we try to be as self-sufficient as we can when we when it comes to moving the boats out of the water in the spring when they need maintenance. And we, we don't have anything. That was a, one of the number one drivers of this purchase is to have the ability to tow our own boats out of out of Vets Park when we need to. And also gives us other we're always towing the, the variable message signs that you see, you see around town, mm -hmm. um, the speed trailers. We load barrels into it. We load uh, the soul horses into it when we need traffic uh, uh, road closures. So we, we need a pickup truck to, to do some of this work and we're using it. In the summer around the special events like the Oyster Fest, we're using it on a daily basis. And uh, it'll also uh, give us the ability uh, for our scuba team to tow its trailer, which we currently do not have the capacity to do so. So when they need to move their equipment, we, we load it into uh, cars and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll be able to accomplish a lot with the purchase of this truck. That's great. Um, I'm assuming like if we had to pay someone to come tow the boats in and out of the water, it would be very costly. So I appreciate that plus all the other benefits that you just mentioned. So does any of the committee members have any um, questions or comments on this one? Assuming the purchase goes through, when do you expect this to be ready, operational? Um, I think it's going to take about four to five months to be built. Because okay. I think with the pickup trucks specifically, I think it's, it's an order build. So they don't have it. That's the way they're doing it right now. That's part of the whole manufacturing issues right now. So once we get the approval, they already know that this is pending. Um, let's put the order in, it'll get built. So hopefully we'll have it by the spring. Do you have any anticipate any issues for the rest of the summer or for the Oyster Festival, given the issues with the current truck? Um, are there any issues that we should be thinking about or any temporary solutions that you might've thought of to deal with this issue? It, the older truck is still working. It just can't pull the boats out of the water. Um, okay. When it gets through, it, it can put things in it for the uh, Oyster Fest and stuff. We still move some of the lighter stuff. And, and uh, sometimes we even ask DPW to give us a hand in moving some stuff around. And they, especially during the uh, the events and the fairs and the parades and things like that. And they've, they've been more than gracious to assist us. Great. I'm assuming you'll have to ask DPW to pull the boats out of the water come the end of the season, right? This time, since uh, we, we, usually, we usually hire private vendors okay. to, um, to do that. Perfect. Well, I'm looking forward to having a new truck for you guys, so you don't have to do that. Thank yep. you. Any other questions or comments on that before we move on? No vote will be taken. Okay, number four is authorize the purchasing. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Can, yeah, I did. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Just with the last question. Can DPW take the boats instead of having to do private vendors? Would that be saving on costs if we if that could be taken on by DPW? Um, yeah, it, it can be. It can be. Um, 
that worth so having we, a discussion We can't explore about that. Then? And I could, I could talk to Mr. Tory and Vanessa about that. And maybe okay. they can give that. Well, Not right to now, remove business from anyone, but if, you know, if it saves. True. Skin. Exactly. Understood. Okay, great. Any other questions or comments? All right. We'll move on to number four. Authorize the purchasing agent Sharon Connors to issue a purchase order to Fleet Auto Supply LLC for emergency lighting and upfit for 10 police utility vehicles and one Chevy crew cab utility pickup for an amount not to exceed $240,000 account number noted. This is just to upfit everything that the police need in all of the vehicles we just discussed. So unless you disagree, Chief, I don't think we need to discuss that one. Do you? It's just the equipment per car. Yes. So that's, that'll take care of the whole fleet. Sure. Motor Does anybody have any questions about that? No. All right. Police cars need lights and computers and stuff. So, all right. The last item on our agenda this evening is number five, authorize Mayor Harry W. Reeling to execute a three-year agreement with the option of two one-year extensions with Everything Parking, Inc., DBA, Cross Save for Project 4280 for a total not to exceed $388,000, account number noted. Um, Chief, do you want to walk us through this one briefly? Yes. Uh, several years ago, we endeavored to privatize our, our school crossing guard service. And finally, last year in our operating budget, we got approved to privatize our school crossing guard. Uh, it's always been a, a management of the police department, uh, the school crossing guards. Many people didn't know this, but it's managed out of the police department, our community services division. And we did have a budget for it. And and we did hire and we trained and we recruited. But the problem is, is uh, we're, we've expanded up to like 26 school crossing positions currently right now. And a lot of times we had difficulty in uh, staffing those positions because a lot of the people who take those jobs are uh, retired. So they don't like coming out when the weather's cold or they call it sick a lot. So what we were doing, we were pulling officers off the road several a day to cover school crossing guard positions, which is, it, it's a good thing to have the officers at the school crossing, but we were pulling them off the road patrols. And we found, we, we found, went through the RFP process with purchasing and cross safe, ended up uh, filling all of our requirements and the, the price was within budget. And it's uh, cross safe will provide, manage, train, equip, replace daily management, all of the school crossing guard positions in the city of Noah. And it takes off the burden of the police department to manage, train, equip, and replace on a daily basis. So it'll be a turnkey privatization of our school crossing guard services. I mean, I think this is huge. And you know, you and I have been talking about this a lot over the past few months. And I think it's really um, a benefit to everyone involved. Um, I just want to ask, um, and I know we've kind of talked about this in private about you know, we have some really great crossing guards, as you know, because you all have worked with them. Do they have the option if they want to stay in that position to reach out to cross safe and potentially stay on in those roles? Yes, their their cross safe will be recruiting within the city. That's great. Um, and probably, you know, the, the, some of our school crossing will like to stay at their intersections because they know their kids and they, they know that it's, that's their pattern. So um, that's already been discussed with cross safe. So, yes. I just want to give a shout out to the Marvin crossing guard, Tony. He's been there a long time and he's adorable. Um, so thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know if he'll want to stay with us, but hopefully he does. Um, does anybody else have any comments or questions about this? I'm really glad we can make this happen because I think it takes a huge burden off of the police department's um, shoulders. Um, you Absolutely. guys are there a lot. And um, I think that this is an important um service that we offer, especially for our children and our families who are walking to and from school. Um, but we obviously want to keep everyone safe. Um, well, have other municipalities, you know, do you know of other municipalities that have used this service? And I assume they've reviewed them favorably. Yeah, there was a, when we were doing the research on this last fall, uh, I reached out to a few in Westchester. There's a couple in Connecticut and they all got favorable reviews. Okay, great. Um, any other comments or questions about that? Okay, great. Um, so with that, I just want to make a, um, an announcement that we are planning on canceling our August 24th committee meeting just because it's summer and I know a lot of people go away in August, but if there are any action items, um, I will send a note to the committee, obviously letting you know of those action items, and then we will move that to the full council, not to 
hold any business up um, from a timing standpoint. Um, do I have a motion? Motion to adjourn. Thank you very much. It is um, 728 and I will call for the vote. All of those in favor, please say aye or raise your hand. Aye. Aye. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Another great, short, productive meeting. So have a Thanks, great everyone. Day. Take care. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Have a good night.